Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and in today's video we're going to be talking about a relatively recent discovery of a very unusual object that may actually solve a mystery that has been bugging humanity for quite a long time. Anyway, welcome to What The Mad. So the object we're talking about is known as 288P. It has a slightly different designation involving a year when it was found, specifically 2016, but we're just going to be calling it 288P. It's a type of an asteroid. Well, not really. Let's actually rewind a little bit and talk about why this is important. So what we know about our planet Earth is that it has a tremendously large ocean. All the blue stuff here is water. What we don't know about our planet is where this blue stuff actually came from. For the longest time, we actually thought that it was from collisions with comets, and specifically ice comets. Like, so here comes Halley's Comet that's going to collide with Earth. And then we actually got to uh, land on one of the comets a few years ago and discovered that the water on those comets is very different from the water that we have on Earth. In other words, Water probably didn't come from comets. So where exactly did it come from? And today we think that, well, if it's not comets, it's got to be the asteroids. And so here in this particular simulation, there is quite a lot of different asteroids orbiting around the sun. And a lot of them actually do come close to Earth. So we think that maybe ice-bearing or water-bearing asteroids collided with Earth and brought all of the water to our planet. Well, but we still haven't really seen any asteroids that are kind of water-bearing until very recently. So, let me actually tell you what we saw. I'm going to actually pretend that we're zooming in here, and I'm going to create the asteroid by the name of 288P. And here is what we kind of discovered. We discovered a dual asteroid that also happens to be a comet, which is, by itself, very, very unusual. Now, what makes it a comet? Well, it's the fact that actually it's exposing quite a lot of uh, ices and different water molecules and basically a lot of things that usually comets do. But it just so happens that this dual object is located uh, in the asteroid belt. Its um, actual semi-major axis, its orbit is about three astronomical units. And even though it's eccentric, it uh, behaves very, very, very similar to a comet or how a comet would. So here we can actually accelerate time and we'll see that these two objects are relatively similar in size and they're orbiting around one another in a very um, specific fashion. Now, I've actually talked about how this happens and how these dual asteroids are formed in one of the previous videos where I talked about the YARP effect. If you want to find out how these asteroids are born, check out that video as well. But what's really, really interesting about this particular dual asteroid or dual comet is that we don't even know how to define it. It's basically an asteroid that behaves like a comet or a comet that got stuck in the asteroid belt. In other words, it's the first ever main belt comet. And it, on top of that, it's a dual main belt comet, which makes it a little bit more interesting. Now, this object is also interesting for another important reason. This, just like I mentioned in the beginning, may actually solve the mystery of where the water actually came from. So it's possible that these objects, these water asteroids or icy asteroids, or basically asteroids that would behave like comets, um, even if they were uh, farther away from the sun and in the asteroid belt, these objects might have been very common and they, they might have been actually everywhere, and maybe they actually brought water to our planet and to the other objects like Europa, Ganymede, and so on. And now I think I actually screwed up and accidentally had them collide with each other and combine into one large asteroid. This is what they used to be like, and then they became two. So this is actually almost like running time backwards. But let, let me actually just show you where it would be located in relation to other asteroids. We're going to just take a random object random asteroid, we're going to place it right here, and we're going to name it 288P. This asteroid is going to be made almost entirely out of water, just because we want it to be this way, and we're going to change its orbit to approximately three astronomical units with eccentricity of about 20% or 0.2. And so this is essentially where 
22p would be orbiting um, if we were to try to find it in our solar system. And this is where it sort of acts like a comet. So by itself, this is a very, very unusual and very, very exciting find. And we think that it used to be actually a singular asteroid and then it became a dual asteroid and possibly released some of its water from the inside, which is why it's spewing out so much ices and looks like an asteroid now. And uh, we think that this particular object, which is probably about 50 to 60 kilometers in radius, um, is one day going to evaporate and turn into something more rocky. And maybe this is actually what a lot of asteroids were like before. And then the sun just kind of had them evaporate their water. But that's all a speculation. What we know for sure, though, is that it only existed as a dual asteroid for about 5,000 years. And before that, it was a single asteroid just like this. And because of its very high rotation and very high spin, it basically broke apart and created and became a uh, double asteroid, double part comet. Whether this is a new object that we still needed to name or whether this is actually just an asteroid with a lot of ice, time will tell, but for now, we're just going to be referring to it as a main belt comet or a comet asteroid, also known as 288P. This is actually a very interesting find and will very likely finally solve the mystery of where the water came from. Anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about in this video, and thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you still haven't, and share this video with someone who enjoys watching space videos. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Space out, and as always, bye-bye.